We talked about Mars earlier in the week. Now it's the moon's turn for some new research that might affect future exploration and settlement of our natural satellite. You may think of the moon as a dead rock, but that's not quite right. Scientists have looked at rockfall and landslides at the landing site of the Apollo 17 mission in the Taurus Littrow Valley to see what they can learn about earthquakes on the moon called moonquakes. They discovered evidence for repeated moonquakes over the past 90 million years along a fault line called the Lee Lincoln Fault that crosses the Taurus Littrow Valley floor. This is just one of thousands of similar thrust faults on the moon that seem to be still active. Thrust faults are thought to be caused as the moon cools down and parts of its crust are forced together and upwards. Tidal forces from the Earth may also contribute to the movement of the crust. Although the moonquakes caused when the crust moves are relatively weak, only magnitude 3.0 or so, they could still pose a risk of damage to future lunar outposts that are located close to them. The researchers note that the risk of a damaging event is relatively low at only 1 in 20 million per day. That's probably not a big deal if, like Apollo 17, you're on the lunar surface for 22 hours. But if you build a lunar outpost to last a decade, the probability of a damaging event would drop to 1 in 5,500. Given that it should be possible to avoid building in areas with faults altogether, this will be just one more factor for mission planners to take into account when deciding the best place to locate a long-term moon base. Currently, the next planned mission to put humans on the moon is Artemis 3, scheduled for 2027, although I wouldn't be surprised to see that schedule slip. The paper was published July 30th in the journal Science Advances, and as always, I will drop a link in the description. That's today's video. Please drop a like and subscribe before you leave if you enjoy the content, and I will see you in the next one.